A statewide administrative hold on medical cannabis products back in December. One dispensary shares how business has been since the retesting started over safety concerns. Stephanie Poole reports. When the herbalist held its grand opening, it ended with a loss. 60% of medical cannabis inventory on an administrative hold. That hold is the full range of products, everything from the cannabis flower to the concentrates to edibles. Um, pre-rolls, pretty much everything uh, was affected by that. This comes after the Mississippi State Department of Health stopped sales on a large amount of medical cannabis products for retesting. Craig Flynn with MSDH provides an update to the ongoing investigation. It solves uh, the use of pesticides. Were there pesticides present? You know, do they fall within the regulatory limits as results come back in that are positive? Uh, products will be released uh, back to the distributors, the dispensaries. Uh, which will allow them to start selling those products once again. Stone shows his items awaiting retesting. They're in the back in the vault. Um, I just can't sell them until further notice. One, maybe two plus months before they can get to testing not only the new products that are, that are being put through the pipeline, but also all the older ones that have been pulled off everybody's shelves. But care for patients must go on. The herbalist treats about 30 clients daily. When Stone got the news, he reacted by contacting retailers to purchase medical cannabis products that are safe for consumption. I immediately ordered whatever I could from whoever I could to fill all those holes that, that I had. So I'm fully stocked now and uh, it hasn't affected business at all. In a two week span of operations, he's been able to provide reliable services here on the coast. Shelves are filled with a full spectrum of cannabis flower, ranging from low to high THC potency levels. He's also invested stocking up THC edibles and other options. Every day I see so many people coming in out of here that are grateful um, that they, they're you know, able to stay off the pharmaceutical medicines. In Pascagoula, Stephanie Poole, WLOX News Now.